Hey, kid. Huh. You want to see a trick? Private investigators, what can I do for you? It's coming! He knows! Please, help us! Hi! New case, gear up. Oh, we're almost there. I've heard Manemo Sign Asylum is totally self-sufficient. This is where I traced that weird phone call we received. You get any leads on who might have placed it? I guess we're the only ones getting on the island rather than off it. Hope we make it indoors before the storm hits. Ring the gate. You have better social skills than I do. Yes? Who is it? My colleague and I are private investigators. We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge around here. A private detective? One more, please. Let's go. My name is Claudia Kreutz. I am in charge of this asylum. Why are you here? I received a distress call from someone in your asylum. That is extremely unlikely. Oh, no. No! I bet a month's salary he's the one that phoned me. You said it was unlikely someone from here needed help. Because it is true. Now one of your employees is dead. Professor Crow? Jo Jonathan was my friend. I, I don't know what to say. Please, do your best and determine what happened. You must excuse me. I, I don't know what to think of all this. What was Professor Crow's job? And who's Gordon? Professor Crow was our therapist. 
Gordon visited him once in a while. Uh, he, something about night terrors. I need to take a look in Professor Crow's office. Second floor, left wing. Just don't be too nosy. Go check the professor's office. I'll take care of the body and alert the authorities. Ouch! Darn! I'm so clumsy! I'm blind without my glasses. Can you help me find them? Thank you. A wet floor can be treacherous. I heard someone scream. What happened? Professor Crow fell out a window. He didn't make it. Professor Crow is dead? Oh no. I... I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, but I need time to process all of this. is locked by Crow himself before his death or by someone else. This is more than a desperate person jumping out of a window. What happened here? Crow was sitting in his armchair. He had a box with him. 
something happened. The professor drops the box on the floor. Someone enters the room, leaving footprints. Crow grabs the telephone and throws it at the suspect, smashing the glass cabinet. He picks up his cane and takes a swing at the perp, but is overwhelmed. The cane smashes the glass table. The attacker comes closer and leaves deep cuts on the wall. Crow steps back. He throws a lamp between him and his opponent. Then, the professor falls out of the window. Was he pushed? The suspect approaches the couch and picks up the teddy bear? He rips off the toy's head and throws it near the armchair. Last, he cuts a name on the painting. Ginger. After leaving his message, the killer flees. This was no suicide. Why did the murderer write that name on the painting? Guilty? Owen's phone number. Owen was right. Professor Crow is the person who called us in the first place. photo of the little girl. Wonder who she was.
something's wrong with the lights. What the? What was that? Am I hallucinating? My head feels like it's in a vice. This was no suicide. We may have a suspect. Who's Gordon? Gordon is our janitor. He used to visit Professor Crow for therapy. He recently suffered from night terrors. He's been acting strange. There was also a girl's name. Ginger. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. Are you okay? You look pale. I had the strangest vision. Must be all the stress lately. Well, after witnessing what you did, who wouldn't? Mrs. Kreitz, I'd like my partner to search the facility. Oh, what choice do I have? Follow your gut. I'll stay here and try to get a hold of the authorities. Here is a map of the facility. You don't want to get lost around here.